Hey guys, it's Sinem and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. So it is that time of the year where we do a full makeup tutorial. I absolutely love how this makeup came out. It's very autumn inspired, of course, with, as you can see, not only the makeup, but also from my outfit. Everything is just very like brown, rustic. It's just very autumnal. And without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. So first I'm starting off with the Fourth Ray Strawberry Face Milk. And I have the watermelon one, and this is the strawberry one that I used for the first time. And honestly, it didn't have much of a strawberry scent, um, but yeah, it just basically moisturizes your skin Skin and just adds a little bit of a glow. For foundation, I'm using the XX Revolution Glow Skin Foundation. Every time I use this, I forget how much I absolutely love it. It is a full coverage glowy foundation, but honestly, it just looks so smooth on the skin and very flawless. And I absolutely love, love, love this foundation. And it's really, really, really underrated. For concealer, I'm going to be going old school and using the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC20. And I just felt like using a really creamy concealer um, and basically just covering any dark circles and using the e.l.f. Duo brush to blend that out. To further brighten my under eyes, I'm using the e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer. This is one of my holy grail concealers. It's pretty much like just great for brightening, although you can use it as a concealer as well. And I'm just blending that out on top of the MAC concealer. To set everything, I'm using the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Setting Powder in Pound Cake. Now, I really do like this powder, how it looks on the skin, but I really can't stand the scent, so I don't use it often. And for my face powder, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Airbrush Powder in Fair. I just hit pan on this as well. And I do like this powder, but I honestly don't know if I'd repurchase it, just because it isn't anything too special. For bronzer, I'm using the AOA Studio from Shop Miss A um, bronzer in the shade Frappe. And I really, really, really like this bronzer. It's really smooth. It just warms up your complexion really nicely, you know, isn't too much. And it's just got a really nice smooth formula. So it just makes blending out a little more easier. And, you know, it's not patchy. For blush, I'm using the NYX Cosmetics Sweet Cheeks Matte Blush in Totally Chill. The reason I'm using this one is because it's kind of like an in-between of it being a neutral blush and a peachy blush, which I feel like just ties in with the tones for this look. And, you know, you don't really want to use a pink blush for kind of like the, the tones that we're going for in today's video. Aryan Beauty Interstellar Highlighter in Miss Satin. This was my first time using this shade and I really liked it. Now it is a little bit of a deeper highlight tone for me, like for my skin tone, but I did just buff it over that blush and honestly, it just gave my skin a beautiful glow and just really amped up that blush shade and just kind of made it like a highlight topper. Um, and I really, really, really love how that came out.
For eyes, I'm using the e.l.f. Cosmetics Cream Eyeliner in Coffee. They don't make this anymore, but you can find, I think it's the eyebrow um, liner, something like that from e.l.f., which pretty much is in dark brown as well, which is like the same thing. You can use it on the eyes. Um, and I'm just basically using that as my eyeshadow base, which is just an all matte brown, like cream um, shade. I'm going into the Colourpop Stone Cold Fox Eyeshadow Palette and I'm just going to be taking these shades that you can see right here and just packing it on my lid. It's a matte brown. It's going to set that cream eyeshadow base um, just so it doesn't budge and also intensify that brown even more. Next, I'm going into this kind of like movie purple shade and putting that in the crease. I wanted to add a little bit of colour just so it's not completely brown and I really like how this kind of tied in a tiny bit of like this warmth to the look and I just felt like it was really needed. I then go in with a smaller brush and then mix in two dark matte brown shades and then just further deepen up the crease. taking those two highlight shades I'm going to be mixing them and putting it on the brow bone and also kind of softening that crease color as well for eyeliner I'm using the Rimmel Wonder Ink eyeliner and this one I really really like and just pretty much creating a wing with this however I do regret this because I actually felt like I should have left it without a wing. I feel like adding that black liner just made it a little more harsh and I really liked how it was without the liner but Either way, still looks good. And for mascara, I'm using the Maybelline Curl Bounce Mascara, which I've actually been really liking. Um, and I'm just applying that to my top and bottom lashes. For lips, I'm using the Morphe Lip Liner in Bite Me, which is like the perfect brownie kind of just, I guess, brown lip liner. Um, it's got a little bit of a warmth to it as well. I actually really like this when I go in with brown lipsticks. And I'm using the REM Beauty On Your Collar Lipstick in Tiramisu, which is my first time using this shade. And it is so pretty. It is honestly like the perfect for brown lipstick. Honestly, it's going to look different on everyone. And it's just, it's just absolutely stunning. And to finish everything off, I'm using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, and this just basically melts all those powders in, it just binds everything together, and just refreshes the makeup. And that is pretty much it for my autumn-inspired makeup, and I hope you guys really enjoyed it and loved the look. Let me know down below if you would rock this makeup look. And apart from that, I think that is it, so I hope you guys did really enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up if you did, comment down below, and until next time, I'll speak to you guys all in my next video.